Hello. I am here with Judges 19, 22 through 30. Gibbe's crime. As they were enjoying themselves, suddenly a certain man of the city, perverted, perverted men surrounded the house and beat on the door. They spoke to the matter of the house. The old man saying, bring out the man who came to your house that we may know him cordially. But the man, the master of the house went out to them and said to them, no, my brethren, I beg you, do not act so wickedly. Seeing this man has come into my house, do not commit this outrage. Look, here's my virgin daughter and the man's concubine. Let me bring them out now, humble them and do with them as you please. But to this man, do not do such a vile thing. But the men would not heed him. So the man took his contraband, brought her out to them, and they knew her and abused her all night until morning. And when the day began to break, they let her go. Then the woman came as the day was dawning and fell down at the door, door of the man's house where her master was until it was light. When her master rose in the morning, and opened the doors of the house and went out out to go his way. There was his contraband, fell at the door of the house, her hands on the threshold, threshold. And he said to her, Get up, let us be going. But there was no answer. So the man lifted her in, onto the donkey, and the man got up and went to his place. When he entered his house, he took a knife, laid a hold of his contraband, and divided her into twelve pieces, limb by limb and sent her throughout all the territory of Israel, so that what, so that it was that all who saw it said, No such deed has been done or seen from the day that the children of Israel came up from the land of Egypt until this day. Consider it confined and speak up. So anyway, that was Geba's crime, which was a city, um, men want to, you know, I'm not going to say it, but pretty bad what happened. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help this wonderful message reach people. Help them know the message, the right, what to do right from wrong. And this is wrong, totally wrong, what this town did, Father. Help them to receive that message and know the difference is right and wrong. And Father, help them accept Jesus Christ in their hearts. Help them have a wonderful blessed day today. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you guys there.